Hey, the first thing you got to do is remove the heat sink and the trackpad. Um, and you're going to have to unplug the trackpad from the motherboard. You'll see that the trackpad is plugged into a tan and black thing. Uh, and that black piece just flips up and back. Uh, do not try to remove that black piece. I did, and I spent about an hour fixing it. Um, once you flip that up, that, that thing will just pull right on out. Okay, um, here's the hard drive. You'll see these screws here. I'm not entirely sure if you have to remove them or not, at least the first two. The third one you definitely have to remove. I remove all three though, just to be safe. It can't hurt. Um, try, to, try to keep those two, um, those two screws on either side of the silver cable apart from the the other the third screw because I do believe they are uh, different lengths so you don't want to mix them up okay the silver cable needs to be removed um, you'll see another one of those black hingy things you just flip that black piece up and the silver cable pops right out um, you'll see this black tab here that's for uh, grabbing the hard drive and removing it from that area and unplugging it. So just go grab it and uh, gently wiggle it out. Um, very gently, you don't want to break anything. Just uh, with a slight angle upward, just jiggle it left and right, left and right. And eventually it'll, it'll pop out. Now the only thing you need to do from here, you see this, this silver carriage that the hard drive sits in? You see one, um, two, three, and four screws that are holding it onto the hard drive and on the new hard drive there will be screw holes just like the ones on there just use the uh, the existing screws uh, for the new hard drive and just move the carriage over